Living Seed Media brings to you God's Word, which is His comprehensive equipment for changing lives. May the Lord impact your heart as you encounter His Word. For further inquiry or counsel, contact Peace House, P.O. Box 971, Boko, Benue State, Nigeria. Telephone numbers 0703 036 0703 7681198. Email address lsmedia at livingseed.org or visit our website at www.livingseed.org. Let us sit back and listen as the servant of God brings forth the word of life. Praise the Lord. We are trusting the Lord this morning at this moment to burden our hearts to pray and to get some prayer tips for fulfilling our matrimony. Let us shortly pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this morning. Faithful Father, we have all again, we want you, dear Lord, to burden our hearts and make this section of this retreat with you, O oh Lord, to be a fulfilling one, as you burden our heart to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, our Father. Lord, pray with thanksgiving in Jesus' name. All right, I will be trusting the Lord to burden our hearts and to bring out prayer tips for us to pray together. As I prepare for this, particular section, my heart went back, or the Lord led me back to John chapter two, where we started <clears throat> from last or Wednesday, when our daddy through the Lord was bringing the opening charge to us. And reading through the passage again, I discovered that every union Every matrimony, every home, every couple, there is a particular purpose in the heart of God for that union to fulfill and to accomplish. In actual fact, when God started the hour and he wants to engage his work to be done by human being that he created, when he first started with Adam, he saw that it was not good. It wasn't satisfying him. And I was need for him to give him a wife. And then Eve was formed from him that I've been hearing since the, since the through, our, through our meetings. And again, the two of them were engaged in that work to bring to pass the reason why they were created. It wasn't rain initially, because if it rain, the earth will grow and there's nobody to till it. God caused it not to rain. But at a particular point in time, they decided to, make, to form a man, and the man was created. And then the man engaged, they got, they got the man engaged with the work. And I'm also saying that even for a woman to be created, what the woman will do also already was on ground. Now was a purpose for that woman to come and accomplish, to come and fulfill on earth and in that marriage. And of course, her own is to join hands with his wife, with her, with her husband, again, to do the work that God has given to, to the husband to do. So we saw that even that first marriage, that was a purpose in the heart of God, that God wanted that home, that union, that couple to accomplish and to fulfill. And of course, we also were told in the course of the meeting, that the first thing that devil came to attack was marriage. And that's it, I was asking, but why? But I've also come to know that where there is no purpose of God, devil has nothing to do. But when God has said something, uh -huh, then devil has something to do. So the reason for creating those couple, that first couple, the purpose of it, inside it was where devil came and attack it and destroy it. But thank God for God, because God meant business. 
with his purpose over everyone that he created, God again has to look for remedy. And he tried several other, but eventually he arrived at sending the thought, the thought, I mean, God the Son now to come and rescue that purpose. Because that purpose seemed to be very crucial in the sight of God. Actually, that was the reason why God created man and woman and for him and make that and establish that, that union. So God sent Jesus to come. And again, it thrills my heart that when Christ also came, the first thing you know, I told you because of the meeting, I was so happy that last Wednesday when that he was bringing that opening child to us, that the first thing again that Jesus did, the first miracle rather, that Jesus also did was to go straight. The first miracle was to brought solution onto the problem that was threatening to occur in that marriage. And he brought solution to it. So it truths me, even though the first thing that devil attacked was marriage, yet God came again in his remedy. And the first thing that he resolved, he said to was the marriage, was marriage as well. It throws my heart so much. So again, he's telling me and I'm telling every one of us, excuse me, there is a purpose in the heart of God for your union. There is a counsel in the mind of God for bringing you together. There is something that God wants to achieve in bringing you together. Actually, before you marry yourself, that purpose has been in place. That purpose has been on ground. That purpose is already there before you are created at all. So I'm seeing that God coming to us on Wednesday, that opening chat, and he's saying that he's beginning a miracle. Yes, Allah is a miracle indeed. It's a miracle to discover the purpose, to realize that there's a purpose your union ought to accomplish. And to my surprise, I've also come to know that we were asked during the seminars that, have you, what, what, what is leading you? What are you serving? Is it money or what is, of course, for several of us, for many, rather? It is money that taking over the place of the purpose of God in our hearts. And the husband is going that way to gather money. The wife is going that way to gather money. Actually, they didn't even bother to even find out. God, why did you brought us together? What is in your heart for joining me to this man or to that man? And that is what everybody's dropping up and down, jiggy, jagga, jagga. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to build out. I want to buy a car. I want to do that. And we are going everywhere. And the reason for establishing marriage, the reason for bringing you together, you left it unattended to. I'm seeing God challenging our heart. And for us to cry unto him today, that God, please, I didn't know before, but now I'm knowing. Please bail me out. Show me. Let me know. Let me discover. Show it to us, Father. Please go open our eyes to see. Another thing again that seems to be the as I said, the number one. That is, if anybody married immediately, married immediately, you already been trouble. Excuse me. As it happened, most of the wives. As it occurred, as it happened, as it happened, and again, another purpose that is taking the place of God again is the issue of children. If you see a couple that don't have a child yet, excuse me, nothing entered their heart again. They are jumping and running every extra scatter and many compromise in the bit of looking for children. And I ask myself, excuse me, when God brought Adam, I mean, if to Adam, was he, was he, was he having children the primary assignments? There was one there. Even though having children is critical, it's like the jar of people are going to go and buy. It's Tara, you must have you. Actually, one of the purpose actually is to, I mean, to, to be multiplied and to be fruitful. But we should not allow that again to take over the other critical reason that if that one has not occurred, many couples don't even bother again to even know. Any other purpose to fulfill law? If one is coming to pass, any other one law to fulfill? That one, another area that I'm seeing taking the place of this call of this primary assignment that God created Adam for support, the first husband, and Eve, the second husband. And I'm seeing God coming to us in the course of this meeting. And the opening child is at the beginning of miracle, at least to discover that there is a purpose that God has brought me to this man's life. There is a reason for God to have gathered me to this man's life, to have joined us together. There is a purpose. 
That's the beginning of miracle. The God has been confronting us. There is a purpose for your marriage. There is a purpose for your counsel. And as we read through that John chapter 2, of course, that verse 2 particularly. And Bible says, and both Jesus was called. And his disciple was there. Sorry, from, from verse 1. And the third day, there was a marriage in the Canaan of Galilee. And the mother of Jesus was there, number one. The second, sec, sec, secondly, the, the Jesus and then the disciple. And I read through other versions. I'm, oh, I'm just seeing that actually the first person they mentioned that was called to that wedding was Mary. It was Mary. And I'm seeing Mary in that passage as somebody that God has positioned, positioned for that couple, positioned for that marriage position for that, for that wedding, to link them up to Jesus, to link them up to Jesus, that we bring, that we settle any difficulties in their home, the difficulty that may even hinder them from fulfilling the real purpose. And I saw the role of Mary in that particular passage, that Mary is standing in between the, the couple and then the Messiah. Then the Jesus. And it was the one that was pleading that actually led them to Jesus. And he called them, excuse me, what is the problem? Whatever he asks you to do, just go and do it. Whatever he wants you to ask you to do, just go and do it. I'm seeing the role that Mary played here, the intermediary, the one that is between the couple and the and the and the and the and the, and, the, and, and Jesus that lead Jesus, I mean that lead the couple to Jesus. I'm seeing that one as a very strong role that again, I'm seeing that except the owner of the work, we allow him in our home, in our marriages to do his work. Actually, he only needed us to be positioned as a uniform or as a cadaver, or as a temple that he created us for, to enter into us and do whatever he wants to do. We are going this morning for us to pray and pray so earnestly is that, excuse me, sir, Excuse me, ma. Couple, there is a purpose for your home to accomplish. There is an intention in the heart of God for your union. There is something that God wants to fulfill in your, your home. And I'm trusting that God in his mercy We hope effort this morning to pray for a very another critical aspect of these tips for prayer opera for our marriage, our marriages. Is that I'm seeing the role of Mary here as somebody that God has positioned to see to it that this marriage does not fall short of fulfilling the purpose of God. Excuse me, I'm saying that even this marriage, even though we didn't know what happened to them afterwards, but they are fulfilling the purpose here. They are the ones that God positioned, that God brought together to introduce the first miracle of God in their generation. They fulfilled that purpose. And thank God for Mary, Mary that was there. The Mary that was there to link them, to direct them, to tell them to get to Jesus and for the purpose of their life to be able to be accomplished. And I'm seeing that as discipleship. Discipleship. I remember again when Christ came. Excuse me, there is no one that God will use, whether an individual, whether a wife or a husband, whether a couple that God will not first of all make. First of all, prepare. First of all, work upon to get rid of the man that we were talking about yesterday, yesterday night. That has to die, the old man. That has to die in the, in the life of wife, in the life of husband. Until there is somebody that God has to lay hold on to prepare a union, an individual, that person cannot be useful for God. That home cannot be useful for God. And as, as, as serious as the purpose of God that God is bringing to us might look like, brethren, God cannot use us except we have been prepared. He found a hand to mold our life, to make our life, to shape on our life, both at the altar and also in practical terms of it. And I'm also, I remember one couple, brethren, one couple, the couple, the, the, the sister, sister Ruth Elimelech, and her husband. They are a couple. They are a couple also that God has purpose for. They are a couple as well. And also, I'm also seeing Naomi and her husband. 
as a couple, I don't want to go to, I don't want to go to Naomi and her husband, but I'm looking at Naomi with roots, even though the situation has gone rotten. It was a terrible experience for roots that her husband died before fulfilling the purpose. And also Naomi died before fulfilling the purpose. One would have said that such, such couple, God will not have anything to do with them. But to show all the importance of the purpose of God being fulfilling in a home, in a marriage, I saw God went on a long way to look for how to ravage it. And I saw the role again that uh, Naomi played in the life of Ruth to finally fulfill the purpose of God for their own union. And maybe again for the two couples now. And I'm saying that there is need for us as couples, need for us to have someone to get somebody that God would be using, that I've seen that this one is kind of life of Christ, that God can use to mold, to shape and to tailor our life, to connect us to the purpose of both our lives, to God to use to mold and shape our life, to fit into the purpose of God. There is nobody even here in the particular, in the, in the particular world that you will do a work, you'll be a professional, and not be first of all prepared by whoever is employing you, is not just normal, how much more God. Even Jesus called to use the disciple, he had to first of all say, follow me, that I can make you and fit you into the purpose wherein I have called you, I have created you. So also, as couple has come to have best homes now, to have best union, to recruit, and to begin to solidify for some, for some, for some as well, and seeing God say, who is God to use, O oh Lord? Who is that woman? Who is that man? Who is that couple? You have already prepared. You want to connect my life with. Who is that? Who is that person? Who is that couple? I want us to go into pray now, to pray now, to ask the Father, Lord, we are leaving this place. Accept your help. Accept your show. Fix us under a Mary. Fix us under a Naomi. Under a couple. Whoever they are. Whatever they are. Link us up. My husband and myself, link me up with them. I want us to pray this morning. I want us to ask the Father. Let's plead with the Father. Lord, please. Who are those ones that have already made? That have already made. That will make us, Lord, show us. Link us up with them. Link us with them, faithful Father. We are there. Since you cannot Let's use what you have made. In the name of Jesus Christ.